Greetings from the Eerie Coast. This is Mad Shad. Oh man, on this wonderful Saturday, it's uh, approaching 80 degrees. Uh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. My, my neighbors, the birds, are chirping away. It's it's a pretty good day. Pretty good day. I'll tell you about those who did not have a good day. That's right, you guessed it. Those Americans that were trapped in Afghanistan, left there by Trader Joe's militia slash incompetent regime. At least for the kids, 13 servicemen and women died at Abbey Gate in Kabul, Afghanistan, along with 200 other poor souls and 300 plus people lost arms and legs and limbs. Things that don't grow back every day. Never forget and never forget whose fault this is. But there was hope. There is hope. These folks are still in country. Task Force Argo, Task Force Pirate, Project Exodus, Project Dynamo, Christian Coalition, Mighty Oak Foundation. Just to name a few. Meanwhile, life goes on. People seem to forget things. I I cannot I, I cannot forget these things. And the list keeps growing of things we need to remember. Uh, just uh just got done with a, a nice walk with charity in this beautiful day. We're probably gonna go for another one. Uh, <laughs> We've had bacon and eggs, coffee. Uh, I, I ran out of chocolate powder for my Cafe Bustello, so I'm using honey. Woo, that stuff's like liquid crack. Wow. Uh, <laughs> damn. Uh, I found this bit of uh, information, this news interesting. There, there's a, uh, we, we have a, uh, uh, a Soros-backed mayor here in Cleveland, Bibbs. Um, <laughs> he's never here. He's always jet setting and and all that. Yeah, he's he's one of those guys. Uh, you know, kind of like Latoya to Destroya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and also the the uh, Cleveland's finest police department. It's they're very very understaffed. Yeah, they've been defunding the police here. Uh, Cleveland's finest has been the finest uh, police force, police academy for number of decades there's you know the academy has always always been top notch uh, so much so that that there's such a, re, uh, a a hard it's hard to keep people that come out of the academy because other other uh, other townships and, and other other cities recruit them go hey you went to Cleveland and Academy come with us we'll give you more money right well that's part of it and of course they've been defunding the police so there's one, there's one police uh, policeman that has been making more than the mayor because he is working all the overtime. <laughs> Imagine that for a minute. There's such a understaffing of the police department that people are literally working overtime and making more than the mayor. You know, the mayor makes 155 thousand a year, you know, but of course he. He's he's allocating other other things and expenses, and, you know, you know. so uh, the the what he really makes and what he really has, you know, access to money wise is 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 kind of a mystery. But uh, the one policeman he he was making over like two hundred something two hundred sixteen thousand a year I think last year, uh, <laughs> just in overtime. Yeah. And this is. This is not, he's not the only one. There's other, other cities that are going through the same thing with this whole Soros backed, uh, you know, defunding of the police and, 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 and mayors and district attorneys that come in, you know, they get put in to literally erode uh, the, the way of life here as we know it. So, once again, go Team Linda. Go Team Linda. Seen her last night in chat. That was amazing. <coughs> oh, and I got to sneeze. sneeze. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Good sneeze. Go Team Linda. She's doing well, kicking ass and taking names. And please give your thoughts and prayers for Team Baby Harper. She is, uh, you know, uh, just came into this world. And uh, she's fighting for her life. They're talking about heart surgery for, you know, a, a newborn that's... It's very disheartening. Uh, and uh, Rooster, uh, a, a grandfather, his 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 granddaughter got kicked in the face by a horse. Uh, she she of course is in the hospital 
Uh, so please give your thoughts and prayers for her as well. And anybody else that, that has, you know, issues, please put them in comment and, uh, you know, <clears throat> thoughts and prayers and intention work. They do. So, this has been Mad Shad. Every day, never forget.